With all the recent winter weather in the area, we thought it was a good time to demonstrate a new traveler's forecast tool. It's web-based, and it's from the National Weather Service. You can access it via our webpage, preview.weather.gov edd. That'll bring you to this National Weather Service Enhanced Data Display webpage. This is an experimental site. Go up here, click on the car icon. That'll bring up this window where you can enter a start location. Let's say I want to travel from St. Louis. And options will come up. I'll choose St. Louis. Ending location, let's say I want to tra travel to Chicago today. So I'll choose Chicago, Illinois. Automatically the map will be plotted out of your route and the National Weather Service forecasts along the way will be plotted. Temperatures will show up in these numbers all the way from St. Louis to Chicago and today uh, January 2nd it is very cold. You can see the temperatures are all in the teens along the way. Uh, the path will be color coded. Gray means no serious hazards along the way. As you get up toward the southwest suburbs of Chicago however there are some yellows and I'll demonstrate those here shortly. Let's zoom in. You can come up here to this upper left and click on that plus sign. It'll zoom in and then drag a map down. Starting off in the St. Louis area, let's say if we get up toward Litchfield, if you roll your cursor along the path, windows will come up showing you the details of the forecast. For instance, uh, the arrival time in Litchfield, if I leave right now, it's at about uh, shortly before 2 o'clock. Arrive there almost at 3 o'clock. And the forecast, valid at 3 o'clock, shows a temperature of 16 degrees, relative humidity 67 percent. Winds are gusting up to 26 miles an hour. As I roll up towards Springfield, Illinois, again it'll show me our my arrival time about 315, temperature of 15. Going farther up along the path, again you can see that this travel path turns yellow. And for today, that means that uh, there are some moderate snow showers up in the far southwest suburbs of Chicago. Our arrival time will be about 516 and the temperature about 14 degrees, uh, dew point 9 degrees. As we move up closer into the suburbs, you can see that there uh, are some watches, warnings, and advisories in effect. Uh, for today, there's a lake effect snow warning in effect for the suburbs of Chicago and they're expecting moderate snow showers temperature around 16 when you arrive at 530 going up farther toward the city arrival time about 6 o'clock again moderate snow showers temperature about 13 degrees let's say that uh, snow is not your cup of tea and you have some uh, possibility of changing your route let's say uh, we want to go to a warmer location so drag that window back in and type in uh, Let's go to somewhere warmer. Let's uh, try Miami. So we'll choose Miami and automatically the path will be recalculated. Let's drag that window away again so we can see the path from St. Louis departing at around 2 o'clock along all the way down into uh, far southern parts of Tennessee. Uh, it's gray so no travel problems there other than the temperatures are fairly cold. As you get into Georgia uh, there is a wind advisory in effect that could uh, be an issue with regard to uh, high profile vehicles such as uh, you know, any type of recreational vehicle or of course uh, 18 wheelers. Get down toward uh, southern Florida say uh, all the way down to uh, around Fort Lauderdale arrival time would be about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and you'd be experiencing moderate rain showers at that time temperature around 66 degrees. So again, this is a fairly useful tool, uh, for especially in the winter time. Uh, also, uh, in the uh, spring, when we start to get into severe weather season, uh, you can use this to see what your threats of any type of hazardous or severe weather along the way would be.